Hi y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages. Okay, like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so, so very much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. Okay, it is always and forever going to be loved and appreciated. God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, Cosmic Guides, all beings of the highest and purest white light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please, please, please give my wonderful, fabulous, and amazing Pisces your family the best and most accurate information for them at this time, okay? So this is a Lakshmi reading, and when I was shuffling these decks, this warrior came to the bottom of the deck, okay? So... You're definitely this beautiful warrior who's connected to this amazing divine lineage. Okay, your intuition is so strong. Uh, really make sure that you listen to it at this time. But when I seen the warrior card, I started singing, uh, I'm a survivor. <laughs> okay, so I was like, you want me to look those lyrics up? And of course, I got a big fat yes. Okay, um, so... It says, now that you're out of my life, I'm so much better. You thought that I'd be weak without you, but I'm stronger. You thought that I'd be broke without you, but I'm richer. You thought that I'd be sad without you. I laugh harder. <laughs> you thought that I wouldn't grow without you. Now I'm wiser. Thought that I'd be helpless without you, but I'm smarter. You thought that I'd be stressed without you, but I'm chilling. You thought that I would sell, you know, you thought I wouldn't sell without you. So not million. Okay, so... First of all, you could be getting ready to sell out, but I think you're going against a lot of the things that people thought they would be able to like do to you, you know, all the ways that people thought they would be able to tear you down. They are like, you know, their faces is cracked. They're looking stupid because <laughs> you're looking good. Okay. It says, thought I couldn't breathe without you. I'm in Helen. You thought I, you thought I couldn't see without you. Perfect vision. You thought I couldn't last without you, but I'm lasting. You thought that I would die without you, but I'm living. Thought that I would fail without you but i'm on top thought that it would be over by now but it won't stop thought that i would self-destruct but i'm still here and even in my years to come i'm still gonna be here okay <laughs> so you ain't going nowhere baby period okay i feel like um you are this beautiful survivor in everything that you've been through you know uh, was it easy it wasn't the best but you managed to stay optimistic and to stay very like motivated about your journey and about where you were going about where you were being led to by the divine energies you know it says uh wishing you the best pray that you are blessed bring much success no stress and lots of happiness i'm better than that i'm not gonna blast you on the radio i'm better than that i'm not gonna lie on you and your family oh i'm better than that i'm not gonna hate you no i'm not gonna hate on you in the magazine i'm better than that i'm not gonna compromise my christianity I'm I'm better than that you know i'm not gonna dish you on the internet because my mama told me better than that you know so i feel like you're not really throwing any shots or whatever you know you're staying very aware of your divine connection you know you're very tapped into this divine lineage and it's something that you uphold you know some this energy that you carry that you're very responsible about it you know you really follow the way that spirit taught you to be in this thing and this is really calling in so many amazing blessings to you at this time there's sirens outside so that's my confirmation okay um you're definitely in alignment okay <laughs> so in alignment is not even funny okay your mind is open and in such a beautiful place and these bubbles always give me this energy of endless opportunities there's actually a card in here where she's surrounded by all these bubbles and it says endless opportunity okay so um there's so many options so many different ways that you could go you know and i feel like when it comes to conflict or anyone who's coming up against you you know you put that shit to death quickly you know and you don't even have to do nothing you don't even have to come out of your character you don't even have to you know get bad or get nasty with these people because it is your stability that put it into these people it is your positive choices that put it into the bullshit okay it is your hierophant energy your ability to be this amazing teacher or to you know hold this beautiful wisdom that puts you in your strength you know what i'm saying that makes you so well equipped to handle any and all battles so like please don't worry about anything you know 
I feel like you've done a lot of healing when it comes to the losses of the past, you know, especially in the ways that you think about them. I feel like you're really embracing this new energy of love that you're in at this time, you know, and it's got your gifts really shining through you, you know, lots of beautiful magic and, you know, otherworldly type of energies awakening within you, you know, that you're able to like exercise out in the world and to benefit from, you know, you are baby, you are the best when it comes to prayer and you really truly are mirroring the divine and attracting um, a few people who are going to mirror that right back to you. Like people who are going to see the magic within you with this Merlin energy, people who share the same types of scars, you know, who have emotionally matured in the same way that you have people who are tapped into this universal energies who don't fear anything but God and who are going to always encourage you to do the same. And then there's more death energy under that, you know. So beautiful new energy coming in over and over again, constantly in this state of renewal. So the only actual note that I got for this was um, the Garial Crocodile, okay, which is actually... Um, it's endangered, first of all. So that gives me this energy of you. You're so endangered, okay, baby? I'm hearing, damn, they don't make them like me no more, okay? They don't make them like you no more, okay? The Gario Crocodile represents power, strength, fertility, and protection. It is um, a significant symbolic it is of significant symbolic importance in the Hinduism and Buddhism faiths, okay? It says it has been revered throughout history as an emblem of good luck and protection, okay? It says it symbolizes karma who emerged from the cosmic ocean to save the world during the great deluge, you know? So I feel like you are a part of that kind of wave, you know, where you're trying to save this world from all of the delusional ways that they get trapped into thinking, you know, um, really helping people when it comes to the energy of scarcity, you know, really encouraging people to live out loud. I seen alchemy, okay, really encouraging people to step into more of this alchemical energy and to live the out loud in their best energies and be the best person that they can, you know, on their journey. And that's so good, okay. Um, the Gario Crocodile is also known as an embodiment of Lord Vishnu's divine energy, okay? And I wrote, in Buddhism, it represents wisdom and enlightenment. It is believed that those who worship the Gario gain spiritual growth and understanding, you know? So not to say that you have to worship the Gario or anything like that, you know, but you know, the qualities of it, you know, you are someone who represents wisdom and enlightenment with that hierophant energy, you know, someone who has gained so much spiritual growth and understanding along your journey, then it's looking so beautiful on you. That's why you're looking like this amazing triumphant warrior. Okay. So Lakshmi, what's going on within them that uh, we need to be aware of, or that you just really want to highlight for them. We got beyond the mind, okay? So this is what I'm saying. This beautiful energy of like expansive consciousness. So much spiritual wisdom you've attracted to yourself. You could be a life path number two or 22. Or you could just be seeing any combinations of twos and zeros, okay, baby? You're looking like the portal keeper, okay? El portero. It <laughs> says um, 50, okay? You can speak Spanish, okay? <laughs> um, you could be a life path number five or one or two or three, okay? But right now you're in this beautiful energy of overflow, really tapped into the infinite energies, you know, and really grounded into this beautiful, you know, guy in energy, okay? And, you know, like I said, your crown chakra is alive and well, okay? You have tapped into like this unlimited version of yourself, a merging of you and your higher self, you know? This beautiful clarity to your life and to your goals and to which way that you want to go, you know? It says thinking with the heart, being present, heart and mind connection, Meditation, the bliss of being, quieting the monkey mind, fathoming the unfathomable, <laughs> um, finding happiness within, going beyond intellectual limitation, you know? It says, <clears throat> 
take a step outside of your mind-based concerns or limitations. Looking at things in an overly logical way will hinder you and obstruct access to your superpowers. You may be transfixed by a past experience. The past may be running you and making your mind spin so you cannot see what is really in front of you. Consider what your heart and your gut are telling you. Step back and clear your mind. Meditate in your own way. Contemplate what the situation at hand would feel like if you released all fears and worries. And are these concerns even yours? You know, you could be because you're so expansive, because you're working on such a higher level beyond the mind. You know, you could be really feeling and experiencing other people's energies. This next page says nonverbal communication, love language, telepathy, and unique ways of communication. Okay. <laughs> it says light language, multidimensional information, community, coexistence, relationships, meeting our higher selves, really seeing someone and a uh, deeper listening, okay? So this is what you're on. So it's totally possible that you're picking up, you know, the emotions and thoughts of others. And um, Lakshmi is asking you to be very careful not to claim that energy as your own. Like you really can decide which energies you want to entertain and which energies you really don't. You know, as long as it's not something from the past that's, you know, considered shadow work and that needs to really be moved out of the way. <clears throat> But that's what I'm getting the strongest from that, you know, like you're this beautiful and amazing survivor. And so when people are going through energies that you have already survived or that you have already come through, um, it's very easy for you to pick up on those energies. And in a lot of cases, you're meant to just help that person heal from whatever that is. But some of them are, are, are they don't get no help. OK, they got to do their growth on their own. So um, just recognize your growth and the way that your gifts are being very active at this time and like try to keep your passion alive and well know that you work with the forces of light and you got a lot of people who would love to you know clone you clone your energy act like you or whatever and they could even be doing candle work to try to come in and do that they could be trying to cause all kinds of chaos and confusion and even trying to do food magic on you but none of this black magic that they're doing is going to ever affect you because they're empty vessels and you uphold your soul the power of you and you connect with god whenever you can Okay, look, you could be dealing with an incubus succubus, okay? These cards fell off to reveal that. Incubus succubus and reversal. Because <laughs> it's always going to go back, baby, my beautiful star seers, okay? Just don't let anybody bait you, okay? These witches and warlocks, they would love to bait you into some shit because you're protected. And at the end of the day, them having access to you ain't nothing but an illusion. So whenever you feel like there's a problem or an issue or like, you know, you forget who you are that day and you need a reminder, call on your angels so that they can let you know what's up. Because I feel like somebody wants you to feel like you're still able to be sacrificed and nobody can not ever touch you. They missed their fucking chance. They should have sacrificed you when they when they had the chance. They missed. <laughs> but they wasn't expecting you to be this kind of spiritual warrior either. You know, they really didn't expect you to shape shift the way that you've been doing. And they got this stronghold energy on them that really prevents them from stopping the attacks on you. You know, they're kind of trapped in that loop, in that cycle. And they've been doing a lot of graveyards, you know, a lot of graveyard magic, a lot of um, death wishes and things like that. But fuck them and they death wishes. OK, they need to. uh <laughs> They need to pray positive prayers, okay? Because everything that they, they pray in that's negative is going right back to them, creating obstacles for them. What's going on outside of them, though? <laughs> I feel like that was very clear. We got the spirit team and we got the soul tie, okay? So your spirit team is out here protecting you and fighting for you every single step of the way, baby, okay? It says, warriors of the light who watch over you from the heavens, they bring you guidance, protection, clarity, and healing, spirit guides, ancestors, etc. So this beautiful energy of you not really being worried about what's going on outside of you, that's amazing. You could have broken some very some very strong soul tie that you could have had, whether you were aware or unaware of it, you know? It says a powerful spiritual bond with another person that was formed through a physical, emotional, or spiritual connection. Like, maybe I'm hearing it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Okay, so you're very good at cutting people off, and I think that you have really chosen to tap into this earth energy, like I was saying, beautiful, guy in awakened type of energy. So now you're 
not able to have your mind manipulated, you know, because this illusions talks about mind manipulation to make an unsuspecting target see things that are not really there, warping a person's sense of reality, you know. And with that beyond the mind, it was saying like, you know, well, maybe those feelings really aren't yours. So I think you need to be very aware when it comes to the outside of you, that outside of you, your spiritual team is surrounding you with this beautiful, loving, light field, protective type of energy and that no one really truly can touch you. OK, we got protection at the bottom of the deck. It says divine protection due to being of a higher calling, having divine favor, surrounded by a spiritual firewall of protection and hard to conquer. OK, that's confirmation. <laughs> Turn the water off. It's loud in the microphone. Thank you, my love. Summertime. <laughs> what is the final outcome? And what's the energy we're going to end up with here? Okay, we got Mama Jumbo with Shine. Okay, so it's like at the end of the day, you will always be rooted and grounded in this beautiful place. You know, there's like this little purse, this little bag right here. So it's giving me like, like, See this energy of her hands? That's giving me spiritual abundance, but the purse gives me actual physical abundance also. And then with this ram energy, you know, they had me reading about the ram and the sheep and like the difference between them. You know, a sheep is very like peaceful, you know, but also they tend to like just follow along with whatever's going on. So I feel like you're definitely going along with that energy, that spirit you know, brings in for you to follow along with, but also, you know, with the Ram, you're very good at protecting yourself. You know, if there's a problem, you know, you're, you're not afraid to like, you know, buck that thing right up out of here, you know, or to Ram any kind of situations out of your energy. And I think this is really what you have, you know, you've, what you have done. Okay. You have revealed a lot of secrets to yourself in your like reality and whoever had this soul tie with you they had it with you on purpose and now they're kind of enraged you know and with this medusa energy they could be feeling like they want to get some sort of vengeance you know feeling like they are some sort of victim you know not to talk about medusa like she's a victim but you know at the end of the day medusa was kidnapped and then she was you know defiled and then they cut her head off. Okay. <laughs> I mean, or I don't know. They, I think, I think that's pretty much what happened. And then, no, I mean, well, yeah, you know, then they cut her head off eventually. But before that, she, she just was a victim. Okay. The whole time, like, and then after she got those snakes on her head, then they wanted to punish her and call her some sort of monster after all of the things that they had done to her to get her to the place where she became that monster, you know? So I think that you're healing those parts within you that are still looking at yourself as a monster, you know, like you have healed the rage and it that rage never was yours, though. It was it belonged to the people outside of you because they could never stop you from shining. You followed your intuition to a place. You know, I'm hearing the arsenal's empty. All they got is shame. OK, same old energy, baby. History repeats. Same old energy, baby. They'll march you through the streets, okay? Same old energy, baby. They fear what they don't know. Same old energy, baby. We've burned this way before, okay? So continue to follow your intuition and know that, like, you're not going to be <clears throat> affected or taken down or, you know, held hostage or, you know what I mean, being held up as some sort of victim because you're aware and you see the truth and you choose to operate behind the beyond the mind you know because you choose to trust in your spirit team you're never going to get punished for that and don't let anybody shame you for that shit either at the end of the day that's going to be you know that faith that determination that's going to be the thing that makes you shine like the beautiful light you were always meant to shine as okay the beautiful light that you have always been, the infinite soul light that you will always carry and that you're meant to spread and share with many others, okay? What's up beyond the mind? What's going on within them? Oh, we got love, baby, okay? there's I got nothing but love for you, baby, okay? We got the temple of the sun, okay? Gorgeous. So you're looking very good, you know? You're in a very loving energy, and you just need to allow that to shine through you no matter what. Know that you don't have any soul ties or, you know, any energetic attachments or anything that's able to hold you back. 
And if you feel like you do, then, you know, you need to pray. Okay, we got death, we got fear, and we got Avalon. Maybe you could be fearing the magic that's being unlocked within you at this time, you know? Like maybe you could be afraid of new beginnings. Maybe you could have, you know, had a whole beginnings and then had that shit snatched from you, snatched under you, you know, showing me like the rug being snatched out from under someone. But this is not something that you need to worry about. And I feel like it had a lot to do with that soul tie that you had with this person before that, you know, even made it possible for them to snatch that rug out from under you. You know, I feel like you really could have been very devoted to some other person more than you were like devoted and loyal to yourself or to God or to, you know, the divine. But that time is over. You know, you have come to your senses and you, like I said, are so expansive even if you feel like you know you're still in that same energy even if you feel like you're still oh i'm still the same person in this same body you know what i mean you're still so much more expansive and you're doing so much more growth than you're giving yourself credit for at this time and lakshmi wants you to see the worth see the wealth see the value within yourself at all times like try to try not to question it so much what's beyond the mind but it can be unbelievable and a little bit scary. Sometimes we got always in though, because you have received this king's calling and you really truly are answering it. And you need to trust yourself when you're doing something like this, because there's no instructions. It's, it's different. It's specific to every single soul. So that's why we're always saying over and over again, trust yourself, follow your intuition, listen to your guides. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I'm just advice. I'm just guidance. And whatever I say has the ability to either resonate with you or it doesn't. At the end of the day, you are the master of your own world. You create your own reality. So if you decide that, you know, oh, I have a soul tie and everyone's attacking me, then, you know, you're speaking these things into your existence, almost manifesting these types of outcomes for yourself. So Lakshmi saying, be very careful with that. You are extremely gifted and your words hold lots of power. So you need to be careful the way that you're talking to and about yourself, you know. And don't fear, you know, this beautiful energy of independence that you have stepped into because you're the wisest, you know, you're in the, you're sitting in so much more wisdom than you have ever sat in in the past. And it's like so important that you just, ah, I heard like stay steadfast, you know? Yeah, we got courage. Like now's the time for you to do a lot of courage. You could be receiving some sort of like promotion or something in your job or whatever. And maybe a lot of people could have a problem with this on the outside of you. But I feel like you've made the proper decisions for yourself. And with this silence energy, like maybe now is the time to keep things to yourself a little bit. Like don't necessarily report to, you know, or talk to people too much about what you've been doing. They're giving me the energy of monitoring spirits because I was thinking about Saturday when I went to work, okay? When I went to do Instacart, there was this lady well first there was this dude some random ass ex that hit me you know and it's like hey what are you doing today you know how long are you going to be working like he just kept asking me that how long are you going to be working like what time are you going to get off like don't worry about what time i'm gonna get off like you know it made me feel weird you know i was like i don't know you know and i knew damn well what time i was gonna stop working you know but i didn't tell him and then i get to the register and the lady's like oh that's cool and she's like how long do you usually do that for you know so that's that kind of monitoring spirit type of shit you know that you really need to be on the lookout for people ain't always interested in what it is that you got going on or what it is that you're doing and though i know it's exciting and you want to share sometimes you have to keep certain things to yourself in order to protect like the integrity of whatever it is the project that you're doing or whatever it is that you're whichever direction it is that you're traveling in okay what's beyond the mind no yeah what's um spirit team and soul tie and love we got judgment okay and the four moons so this could be some lover that you released, you know, or maybe even like some family members who were showing you fake love for a long time who were like um, this 
this tight hold that she's got on this moon or on this cup is giving me the energy of of conditional love okay so you could have had a soul tie with people whose love were very conditional and now they're under this energy of judgment you know so don't be afraid to like exercise your loving energy out in the world like no one is able to stop you or hold you back from doing that you know like just offer the most love you can in every situation and you can't go wrong and you can't be held at fault if things go left because you gave the best energy and you know the best part of yourself that you could give in that moment okay what spirit team soul tie and uh the temple of the sun we got the eight of stars or the eight of pentacles you know like you have done so much work when it comes to paying paying attention to the details within yourself you know and i think it's almost like you were ignoring the details within yourself for a while and just really putting all of this work and attention in you know like work into all of these other people but also i think when you're out talking to people or when you're talking to these family members or when you're talking to an ex-lover or whatever you know they're really drilling in trying to figure out what are the details of you and your schedule and your plans you know and i think it's really important that you don't tell them the details of what it is that you're doing or where it is that you plan to go because it's sad and it's disappointing and you are protected and you should be able to. But at the end of the day, they're just it just opens the door for them to be able to sabotage you in whatever way, you know. Like on TV, it's a common theme in a lot of TV shows where, you know, the friend tells somebody something or the business partner tells somebody something. And then they go and hurry up and start doing that thing before you get a chance to do that thing. And it's like, you know, the whole layout of your thing and how you do it. So be very aware of this. What's um, death, spirit team, and soul tie? We got the two of moons, okay? So you put a death to the part of you who was always juggling when it came to your emotions and who you can trust, you know, with this Ten of Swords energy. I think you went into hermit mode for a long time and spirit has made it very clear to you who has stabbed you in the back, you know, or, you know, even pulled you away from people who plan to stab you in the back. You could have like really great foresight on you. You could have prophetic dreams and things like that. Okay. What's fear, spirit team and the soul tie, but this emotional balance that you renewed your energy to it's, it's unfuckwithable. Okay. Well, we got the Ace of Moons or the Ace of Cups, and this is what I'm saying. It was the releasing of your fear that finally pushed your cup up to that level where it started to overflow. So this is where you are. And I think that this is also where people perceive you to be at. And it's like they want to, it's almost like they want to clog your fountain up with a lot of different irrational fears that really don't matter like they're projecting a lot of energy of fear at you in order to keep you from reaching that next place in your journey so like just know nobody has the power to do that okay pray in a way that leaves things very open for the divine to handle things in the way that they wish to handle them and don't pray like in a negative way, you know, like don't pray for like the negative karma of others and things like that, because that really does have the ability to backfire just like any regular spell would. It's kind of a spell, a negative spell, you know, so try to just like, like I said, be very loving, be very open, be very compassionate in every moment and in every situation that you run into with people as much as you can. And if you feel like you can't, then separate yourself from that. What's Avalon, the soul tie, and the spirit team? We got the seven of swords, okay? So this is what I'm saying. Not only have certain gifts and, you know, magical things snuck up on you within you, but there's a lot of sneakiness going on around you, outside of you regarding this. But your spirit team's totally on top of it. I feel like they're making you very aware of what's going on and what you need to be paying attention to. So it's just like, you know, can you meet me halfway? Right at the borderline is where I'm going away. For you, I'll be looking out night and day. Took my heart to the limit, and this is where I'll stay. Okay, so I'm hearing I can't go any further than this. I want you so bad, it's my only wish. Okay, so it's like some of your guides, like they need you to progress. Okay, it's all that they wish for you is the best. 
So know that in this king's calling that you have answered, you're delivering the best. You're in the best loving energy or you need to try to be there as much as possible and also to have a lot of patience and to just know that these, let me tell me about the sneaky folks. What about the sneaky folks? Okay, we got the higher font, so that's big cult energy. So there's definitely a group of people trying to reestablish some sort of soul tie with you. Like, I feel like they sent in one person, okay? They sent in one person who established a very strong soul tie with you. And they were using that one person to pull your strings and to instill fear in you for a long time. But this is something that you have broken yourself away from and have even healed the things that came with that, you know. So you need to just trust that that's over and trust that you really hold a lot more wisdom than these people who are trying to attack you. And also you get a lot of extra back in your spirit because it's just you. So Lakshmi is also saying, like, don't worry about anything when it comes to your wealth, when it comes to things that you desire outside of you, when it comes to, you know, your home, your vehicle, your car, your family, you know, these types of things will always be covered if you have them and provided if you don't. What's Oizen, Soul Tie, and the Spirit Team? Okay, we got the Queen of Wands. So you could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, or there could be a significant Aries Leo Sagittarius. There could be a Libra um, or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio that has something to do with this. I'm hearing a Virgo also, and, or a Taurus. What's a Courage? What about the Queen of Wands? I feel like the Queen of Wands can also represent, you know, like you looking very good. It can also represent like sexual energy in a way. Like soft sexual energy, we got the devil, okay? So this is what I'm saying. You unchained yourself from some sort of person. Like they could have been very attractive, you know? But really they were like the queen of wands in reverse, you know? Just pretending to be connected with their spirituality and pretending to know who they were. And I feel like because you have the king's calling and all of this spiritual backing, you were able to see through these things very clearly. So you just need to continue to do that and make sure that you're not chaining yourself back to any energies that you've already healed from or separated from or walked away from, you know, stay in this king of moons, emotionally mature, balanced, clear headed type of energy, you know, and don't let your emotions overtake you in any moments, you know, what's courage, the spirit team and the soul tie. Do -do -do. We got the high priestess, baby, okay? Have the courage knowing that your foresight is very clear and that it really does work, you know? That you're not kidding yourself, okay? Look at the six of wands and the sun coming out too, okay? So you're in this beautiful energy. You could be receiving a lot of public recognition, you know? It's like at the same time that spirit's, you know, exposing your beautiful, courageous, high priestess, amazing, divine type of energies. They're also exposing people who wish to have soul ties with you or wish to, you know, give you all of this conditional love only to serve their own agendas in the end. So this big, big, don't worry about it energy, okay? We got the world that there is an end to that cycle. And this is a new, successful and more productive cycle for you. But if you focus on the negativity, on the nonsense, then, you know, you're, like I said, calling that in. And it's not even just like to think about it right in a healing way or to think about it as something that you're going to address. But it's more of that you going back to that moment and feeling those feelings and getting upset and feeling like, you know, then you you're you're back in that feeling and your feelings are very important to you manifesting whatever it is that you need. And that's why I said to well, that's why she said to stay emotionally balanced, you know, because I think that it's everything for you at this time. I keep looking at my mic because I don't want it to rub my shirt. It already be making all of that damn noise. I got to order a new mic, y'all. And These are new mics. OK. But they just be doing that static, static thing. And I don't know when it's doing it because until I watch it back. <laughs> so forgive me. Okay. Um, what's love, judgment, the four of moons and the shine? We got the door to spirit. Okay. So this love has tapped you into this beautiful spiritual energy that called judgment on these conditionally loving people in the first place, you know. And it's like maybe they give conditional love because they don't know what unconditional love looks like, you know. 
they never received that kind of love. They never received clear communication. They feel like, you know, it's the same kind of people where it's like lying is their idea of like protecting, you know, withholding they feel is more safe for you, you know, when really that's a cop out and it's a selfish decision to do things like that. But these are people who really don't understand that because this could have been the way that they were raised, you know? And I think now you've opened up this new door to spirit where you're ushering in these new ways of being. And of course, you know, people in your family or people who you've walked away from already are going to have a problem with this. They're going to protest too much, you know? So pay attention to those people that's protesting way too much against what you're doing and what the way that you're trying to walk. Because they're telling you exactly how they feel about it. <laughs> What's the temple of the sun and the eight of stars? We got a woman holding a coin, okay? And that's what Lakshmi was just saying. You will receive your divine wishes that you want to receive. She's always going to make sure of it. But first, she always wants to make sure that you receive your spiritual abundance. And that's why I love that both of those energies came out on the shine card on the final outcome of it. At the end of everything, you'll ends up working out of this beautiful, productive, balanced energies with your masculine and feminine sides where you're attracting all the spiritual wealth that you need, calling on it, you know, from spirit at any time, but also you're very comfortable. You're able to donate. You're able to, you know, do whatever it is that you need to do, like on the money, physical part of things. What's death and the two of moons? The world, okay? Again. So this is what I'm saying, though. It is your emotional balance that puts a death to anything that these people outside of you are trying to do. So like that's so important at this time for you to really maintain that and for you to always be aware that you attract. You don't chase, baby. And anything that you chase is going to run the other way because of the desperate underlying energy that comes with chasing. Chasing is almost like an affirmation of something that you don't have and you know you hold everything that you ever wanted or ever needed within you because that's what God told you, right? What's fear and the ace of moons? Okay, the goddess of the moon. <laughs> so, you know, your intuition really does lead you away from fear and into a place where your cup is overflowing, okay? Your intuition leads you right to the beautiful cornucopia that is your spiritual wealth, you know, and it's that spiritual wealth, that understanding of you, that remembrance of you and where you come from and the power you hold that calls in all the physical wealth, you know. So if you feel like you're struggling with money or whatever, you know, this could just be something that you're going through with the divine, something they're wanting you to realize or some fear or some way of thinking they're wanting you to step out of before they bring this money in. What's um, Avalon, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Swords, the Garden and the Gate, okay? So this beautiful energy of you, like I said, unlocking, look at the financial constraints at the bottom of the deck, okay? Because you're unlocking a lot of this magical energy within yourself. Your energy could even be like a little imbalanced, and this could feel like something that snuck up on you, but spirit doesn't always want to like let you know that things are coming. They want you to master the art of shape shifting, okay? Where you're able to roll with the punches with spirit that in that way, because your divine success looks the same way as you rolling with the punches of spiritual awakenings, okay? You're going to have a lot of things getting thrown at you. But at the end of the day, this energy of her being inside of this gate that is locked, but she got the damn key around her neck, you know. So knowing that like sitting down or being where you are, whenever you are, um, is a choice, okay. It's a choice that you make. And know that like you're never financially constrained. I don't care if your account is in the red, if it's totally in the negative, you rich as hell. You're so rich. You got all this money. I should say you rich as heaven, okay? <laughs> What's always in the devil and the queen of wands? We got the Archangel Gabriel with the throat chakra. Maybe spirits waiting for you to speak your mind a little bit more. And I think that, you know, this king's calling, it really does have that type of energy, you know, where you need to be clearly communicating what it is that you think and feel, you know, 
doing it fearlessly without worrying about who's judging you or who's, you know, trying to hold you back or who's trying to sabotage you. Having this strong belief that comes with an activated throat chakra, you know what I mean? That everything is going to turn out just fine. And that, you know, I can say whatever I want. I can express myself and I can I can say it. I can have confidence that it's the truth and I can have confidence that ain't nobody going to do nothing about it ever. OK. What's courage, the sun, the high priestess and the six of wands. OK, we got Arch Archangel Shamiel with this solar plexus chakra energy. OK, more of that confident, sunny type of energy. Like, this is what you really truly hold. And I love how she's holding the coin in the same place that he's holding the, that he's holding his solar plexus chakra, you know, because at the end of the day, it comes from that beautiful confidence within yourself and within the divine. That's where your true wealth and value, you know, stems from. This beautiful caring connection that you have when you're operating beyond the mind as the angel of love that you are. And really, this energy of anxiety closes that door to value, you know? So try not to be in, so anxious. And don't worry when it comes to people in the community, okay? Trying to create these moments where you have to deal with hostilities or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, you have this beautiful contract to walk this amazing journey and end up in this place of healing and personal happiness. But it's all contingent upon the way that you communicate with the divine, the way that you follow the strategy or follow the map that you came within you. You know, that map came in you, <laughs> period. OK, it is a part of you. It is a part of your DNA. And so, you know, there's no envy or anything like that that can come up against that. And if you do run into these kinds of energies, okay, these boots are made for walking. <laughs> and that's just what they'll do. <laughs> and one of these days, these boots are going to walk all over you, you know. And I feel like that's a big part of the problem also. They thought them boots was going to walk all over you. But you walking down your temple path feels like a storm for them. It feels like you walking all over them. And Archangel Michael is handling that. You don't have to worry about that. How they feel at the end of the day is their choice and their problem. All you could do is show the best love and the best compassion and be the best energy you can be in every moment of every day and show that beautiful gratitude and you can't go wrong there is no wrong way for you to walk down this temple path you do it how it's comfortable for you in the way that feels best for you and the way you feel the safest and most comfortable doing it but also don't let that need for safety or that you know fear of things falling down or that fear of the rug being snatched under your feet keep you in a place where you're like immobile where you're not moving don't let the fear freeze you working through the fear is the best way to demolish it and destroy it and have it be something that you never have to deal with again shine shine the light on all of that fear okay <laughs> but he says shine the light on all of your friends or it all amounts to nothing in the end okay so shine the light within you on any fears that you may have especially when it comes to communicating clearly with yourself and others and when it comes to upholding your confidence you could come from a place you know with these people with soul ties to you like i feel like they were making you feel so not confident as long as they were courted to you and you were open to that like your confidence really took a hit with that and now that you're out of that, you could even feel a little bit selfish when it comes to being confident about yourself or what you have to offer or what you're giving to the world. This journey is definitely without, you know, those self-conscious thoughts and things like that. But the whole point is for you to be much more aware and secure in yourself, in the parts of you that you are remembering, you know. So just don't worry, you know. Just really have that faith that you're doing the right thing at all times. As long as you're on the up and up and trying to do things in the most positive of light. And you're going to shine. <laughs> Period. Okay. That's not even a question. You're going to absolutely shine like the beautiful bright light that you are. Because this is what you were truly meant to do. What's the final thought on this beautiful Lakshmi? We got octopus spirit with ingenuity, you know, like you're so versatile. 
you have such a beautiful reach about you. You know, I'm hearing I got so many styles. I am a group, you know, you got so many different styles and so many different ways that you're able to like operate and do things. And that's why I said they're trying to help you to increase your shape shifting abilities, teaching you to roll with the punches, go with the ups and downs and still keep that motivation and that love for what it is that you're doing, teaching you to mirror the divine and to be very receptive of the things that they teach you. <clears throat> Excuse me. OK, big confirmation. <laughs> It's number 34. Here it is. Okay. So it says, I am agile and able to adapt and recreate my own reality. If I do not like something, I get to change it with grace and as much imagination as possible. I love that I can always reinvent myself and have new experiences in all aspects of my life and relationships. It says the octopus is an incredibly adaptive and intelligent creature, as are you. It says, and the soul of the sacred octopus spirit is alive with messages and teachings for you. An octopus may be small, but it is mighty and resilient. If you feel taken advantage of, disrespected, or treated poorly, know that you are just like the sacred octopus spirit. You can shed a new light of understanding upon any negative experiences and see only the lessons and purpose in those situations. Having this fresh perspective will give you clarity about who you are and who you wish to become. The octopus always keeps its predators on their toes, morphing into new forms, hiding in new places and surfacing to jump onto rocks. Use your ingenuity to come up with new ways to solve any challenges you face. Okay, so talk to solve, geez, use your ingenuity to come up with new ways to solve any challenges you face and embody the octopus spirit in your life. Honor, celebrate, and own yourself and your life exactly Exactly the way it is. And if there is something you aren't happy with, reinvent yourself and find a different way to accomplish and experience each situation, you know. And I really love how it started with water energy and it's ending with water energy. Of course, you know, the gharial is a crock, so I'm sure that it um it is very good on dry land, you know, but but at the end of the day, it's also a whole lot of water energy going on with the crock, you know. It's like the croc and the octopus prefer to be in water. So I feel like when it comes to the emotional realms of things, you're actually like very well versed in keeping that straight. You know, you are like a master of water. You can even be a water trine or a water sign. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or have that highly aspected in your chart. Whatever your sign, baby, you are a beautiful and amazing soul and you have so many different things to accomplish and you will accomplish those things as long as you don't let, you know, people distract you or try to tell you what you can and cannot do. You can do whatever it is that you set your mind to. And as long as it is, you know, on the up and up, you will be supported spiritually in that. So with that, I'm done. I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day that you got something that you need out of this. And I'll see you later, my love. Bye.